Hey everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be demonstrating how to repair the black screen you get on your Oculus Rift S uh, goggles. Um, this does happen from time to time. It's very nerve-wracking, it's annoying and it's so much work to get it repaired. Um, so uh, what we'll do is first of all just double check that everything is connected. So what you want to do is basically make sure that your Rift S is connected and it's showing that green check. Um, and if it's on, uh, that's perfect. And then what you want to do is first step is click on the Rift S button here and just click remove device. It will just double warn you again and hit remove device. And once you've done that, what it will do is it will just completely remove your device. And then what you need to do is close the application, go back into it and then go to devices, add headset, and then go through the initial setup again. So it already rec recognized my headset, so it's already there. I'll just click continue. It's recognized the, the two cables, the display port and the USB 3. Hit continue. The sensors check's been done. And um, I'm going to skip this part because my, uh, my, um, my controllers are currently out of battery. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, then test it out again. Can you see anything? Is it working? If not, then what we'll have to do is go on to the next step, which is going into settings, then go to going to uh, detail, and then clicking restart Oculus. And you want to click that button again. And what that will do is it will automatically restart Oculus Rift. Uh, or the Oculus application, and then uh, yeah, launch you back into the uh, to the settings. So you can try that again. Put your headphones on if it's working perfect. If not, then we'll have to go into the third step, which is going into Device Manager, and then going all the way down to Universal Series Bus Controller. And what you want to do is basically in every single USB hub. You want to right click properties, drivers, driver update, browse my local computer for driver software. Let me pick a list from the available uh, driver on my computer, select that and hit next. And that will install the drivers, uh, it will force the computer to install these drivers and close. And what you want to do is basically do that for for all of the uh, USB devices. And as you can see here, um, once you do the changes on some USB devices, it will ask you to restart the computer. And you also need to do that, but we won't currently be doing that. Once you've done all of that, and you um, restart the computer, you go back into Oculus Rift. If it's not working, We'll have to move on. If it's working, fantastic. You can start watching the video from here. But if it's not, then what we need to do is go into settings. Uh, then what you want to do is go into update and security. And then go to Windows Security. And then choose app and browser control. And here is where your uh, on your system, if it was normal, it would be on off. And this would also be on off. So what you want to do is make the turn this to warm and turn this also to warm this option here. The smart screen for Microsoft Store app and the check apps and files both turn to warm. And then close that off, restart the computer, and then go into the Oculus app. Fingers crossed it works for you. If not, if it's still not working, unfortunately we have to go into the very last step, which also resolved the issue for me. Um, a lot of you guys don't want to be doing this, but in order for your Oculus Rift to be working, you have to take this step, which is going into settings again, Windows and Security, Recovery, and resetting your computer. I mean, you could reset your computer, but keep your files, just remove the applications and settings, or you can remove everything. So that will just completely wipe your entire drive. Unfortunately, I had to take these measures. I had to completely remove everything off my computer and reinstall Windows again um, and reinstall the applications and reinstall Oculus. And that worked for me. I don't know what it what it done, but it worked. And I could now use my VR again, 
which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so 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 you could try these steps. Uh, hopefully, it works for you guys. And if not, then you'll just have to restart your computer. I know it's it's a pain, but hey ho, this is this is uh, how Facebook deals with it. They 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 often uh, uh, blame it on uh, on Windows. So yeah, do these steps, and I promise you it will work, guys. Uh, have faith. Do not throw your device in the bin, and keep trying and testing. Take care. Bye bye.